state of our union is stronger than ever before. Just about 45 minutes ago, President Trump finished up his State of the Union address. Jobs are booming, incomes are soaring, poverty is plummeting, crime is falling, confidence is surging, and our country is thriving and highly respected again. President Trump tonight touting accomplishments, going on to say that America's future, in his words, is blazing bright. CBS 11 political America's reporter Jack Fink has been watching this with all of us. What kind of reaction are you hearing from the speech tonight? Well, Doug, the president sought to make his case for re-election. Whether he did depends on who you speak with. We watched the State of the Union with Deborah Peoples, chair of the Tarrant County Democratic Party, and Karen Watson, former vice chair of the Dallas County Republican Party. The president spent a lot of time in his speech talking about the economy and record low unemployment, betting people will again vote with their wallets. Going forward, Watson says the president's record will motivate Republicans to support his reelection. As you might expect, Peoples has a very different view, saying the president's speech will motivate Democrats to vote against him in November. You talk about all the jobs you've created, but they're not a living wage. So people are still having to work two and three jobs to make ends meet. So it's like you, you want to come out and paint this rosy picture, but Americans are living the reality of what's going on. The numbers don't lie. Unemployment for black Americans is at the lowest it's been on record for Hispanic Americans, for women. Those are just amazing numbers, and they should be celebrated by both sides of the aisle. President Trump also highlighted his record on border security and proposed school choice for public school students, an idea advocated by Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Now, after the president finished, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi tore up the copy of the speech that he gave her. The president did not mention impeachment during his speech, as Republicans advised. He will likely be acquitted in the Senate impeachment trial tomorrow. Doug? Jack, thank you very much.